Hi there, I'm Jean. I'm the VP of Engineering here at Range. And I wanted to give you a quick look at how I use our team dashboard to know what's going on on our team. So Range is an asynchronous check-in tool and it lets people check in when it's convenient for them. And then there's also a history of you know, what their mood is every day, um, what they're planning on doing and what actually happened the day before. So, um, you know, working remotely, it can be really easy to feel disconnected from your team, um, to feel like, and especially as a manager, to not know uh, what's going on, what people are working on, and also how people are doing. So Range makes it really easy to uh, stay up to date with both how the work is going and how people are feeling. So this is our established team. Um, it's our main product and engineering team. And uh, usually when I check this chat, uh, dashboard. I'll just check in quickly with how people are feeling. We've got a pretty green day, some yellows, um, but that's pretty normal for a Monday. Uh, and then I can also take a look at historic data here. So last week, uh, last week was pretty green actually, and the week before that was a little bit more yellow. So on a week like that, I might just monitor, um, check in with people, see how. Um, you know, see if there's anything that I can do, if we should make any adjustments to our work plans um, and see if the root of that feeling yellow or maybe a little bit off is work related or not work related. Um, that's something you might get a sense of in an office, of people just feeling lower energy or feeling really sleepy. Um, and then I also like to keep an eye on meeting load here, which uh, is looking pretty good right now. It looks like people don't have that many meetings, which is great. Um, so they have plenty of focus time, but you really want to keep an eye on this when it starts creeping up. Um, and it's also nice that you can see um, kind of the portion that's not available when someone's out of office. So you get a sense of total capacity of the team for that cycle. Uh, down here in top tags, this is a great place just to get a sense of like, what is this team working on? Like, what are the main focuses? Um, and whenever people check in asynchronously, if there are things that are related to specific projects, they'll often add a tag on there so that we can, or they show up here um, so they're a little bit more organized. And then Artifacts has Google Docs, Figma Designs, GitHub Issues, basically anything we have an integration with that people pull into their check-ins. Um, if it's mentioned by multiple people or the more mentioned or more interacted with it is the higher up it'll show up here so um, this is a great place if there's like you know feedback docs that are circulating it's just a good place to check in on make sure kind of know what's going on um, if there's any feedback that i said i'd give that i'll give it here um, and down here uh, this is a great place uh, you know we really believe that taking the time to celebrate wins um, and taking the time to express gratitude or thank your coworkers. That's so, so important, especially on remote teams where you're not seeing each other day to day. You're not able to you know, casually give people a high five or uh, thank them in person. So um, you can see I'm very excited for my new air fryer. Um, and it's just a quick way to get a sense of what's going on in the team that people are excited about, whether that's thanking people or like project milestones that they want to celebrate. So uh, team flags is super useful. That's a really good place for me as a manager to just see the stuff that people have kind of um, explicitly said, hey, this is important. Let me boost this up. So there's a lot of things that people want feedback on, any learnings that people have had, uh, things that people want to discuss, any FYIs. Um, you know, I don't need to see every single thing. I don't need to see like 15 line items for each person each day. And so this is kind of a, a zoomed out view of like, what are the important things I need to be paying attention to? And then finally, a uh, team calendar for things like birthdays, work anniversaries, all the things that are important for helping your team feel um, like you remember the important dates, super important to not forget them and then uh, check in like, you know, two weeks later. So that's it. Let me know if there's anything that you would really like to see on the team dashboard um, because we're going to be iterating on it.